This problem is what I refer to as a multi-pool combination problem. Because we have multiple pools from choose from, a jacket pool, a sleeping bag pool, and package of food, food pool. Here I'm going to try to explain in decent detail uh, how this works. But if you want full details on how this multi-pool thing exactly works, go visit lecture 2.3. So here we need f five jackets and two sleeping bags and 11 package of food. So the word and is equivalent to, to multiplying. And so we're going to just basically treat this individually as like their own little problem. And then we're going to combine them by multiplying them at the end. So let's first look at this. So this is the simple straight up the most simplistic form of combination. We have five jackets to choose from, and we're choosing two, and we do not care about the order which we choose them from, because it's just going to get bunched into this outfit at the very end. So this is the most raw form of combination. Here we have five choose two. And then again, we do them. We do, we do this one separately on its own. This is going to be choosing two sleeping bags out of the two sleeping bags we have to choose from. And then here it's going to be choosing three sleeping, uh, three food packages out of the 11 food packages we have to choose from. And then for the final result, you just simply multiply them all. See if I can do this in my head. Five choose two is 10. Two choose two. Anything choose itself is one. Anything choose one is also one. So these are some neat shortcuts. 11 choose 3, that's going to be, let's see, 11, 10, 9, 3, 2, 1, that's 5, that's 3, 15 times 11, that's going to be 165. I hope I didn't do it too fast and did it wrong. The answer should come out to 1650. Well, let me punch the calculator right now and check that 11 choose 3 is correct. And yes, it is. So here's your final answer.